That's what the power of the flesh of the spirit does, bro. When the power of the spirit hit that bullshit, when the power of the spirit gonna step in. And I'm telling you, ain't no God in you, bro. So if me and you was to go to war, bro, my God would have come, I promise you. Consciously speaking, Christian. Spreading the word in them streets for my people not hearing us. I pray that we make it through the fire. This word gonna take us higher, yes, I know. I pray to y'all that one day my people see them chariots Spreading the word in them streets for my people not hearing us I pray that we make it through the fire I'm not saying, listen, we come out here because we just come out here to do the work of the Father, which is come through Scripture. And I know you're not against that. Remember, listen, I done been a Christian for seven days. I done went to that church a couple times. Bruh, because I'm trying to find out, but you know what? It came to battle. You know what? None of this shit matters. You're saying what we're about? You're saying we're the work for everyone in every occasion? If you ain't with me, say that I'm stepping out of my neck. God, I'm not here. No, 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 no. That's 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 the entirety of this ring. I'll, I'll say this, we were, we were going here, and then I think we turned to left. I'm going to tell you why I'm going to tell you that, because it's not my opinion, it's according to the Bible. Give me Daniel. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6, the brother just pulled that out. I'm going to show you the superiority of the Israelites. Give me that. I came in there. I don't care what y'all call it. I think it's like it's a it's a race demographic demographic whether nobody like the like any religion. Like you cannot tell me that back like all this shit. Bro, there's only one way to God. Like it's only one way to God. Yo, whether you believe in Christ, um Jesus, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, bro, I don't give a fuck. Whether you Catholic, whether you Muslim, if any of these brothers out here are Muslim. And I say something right now, I don't give a fuck, bro. Like, either way, at the end of the day, all this shit is religion. I love it. Like, we need to cut out the fucking religion and put God first in, like, So, no religion, right? No religion? No. Then you were so on our side than anything else. Exactly. But, wait, I mean, I don't tell that. You're more so on our side because, one, the first thing I said when I kicked my stuff up here was we're not about Christianity. We're not We're not about that. We're not about baptism. We're not about any of that. Exactly. I don't know what to do, but I'm not going to do it. Hold on. Wait, wait. Let me finish what I'm saying. Let me finish my statement. I'm going to get back. The first thing I said is that we're not Christians, we're not Catholics, we're not Jehovah's Witness, we're not none of that because it's not in the Bible. The first thing we said was that we're not for, we're not for religion. For a long time we've been destroyed and we've just been living here in America, but guess what? It's about that time we came back to our heritage. So now a long time you so-called black and Spanish, whenever you hear the Bible coming out, you think of Christianity. You think of Jehovah's Witness. You think of John, John, uh, uh, baptism. You think of all these crazy things that are not in the Bible. The Catholic Church is not in the Bible. The Christian Church is not in the Bible. Worshiping on Sunday is not the Bible. When we go into these scriptures, we see a holy people that the Most High called for himself. A set of heart people. And that's not everybody on this earth. This yes. Bible. Wait, hold on, so can wait, you agree with me? Hold on, hold on. You I read something with you. Israelite in the Bible. Can I find Hebrew? You can find it. Read that one I was saying about. He's going to find you what you actually. There, read Deuteronomy 7 and 6. That's what I'm saying. You're going to find it. You can think you can go Yeah, read Deuteronomy 7 and 6. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. Uh huh. For thou art in holy people. What do I say? For thou art in holy people. You are speaking to the children of Israel by the hand of Moses. He said, What? For thou art in holy people. He said, Thou art in holy people. Come on. Unto the Lord thy God. Uh -huh. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Above all people. What did he say? Above all people. One more time. Above all people. If, I'm right, if the Lord puts me here and you're down here. And he make he wants to make sure that you stay down there. I'm staying up here. We're not equal. Can I see that? This is my this is my staff. I'm very personal with my staff. That's what I'm saying. But go ahead. So what you're saying right now is I'm not equal to you because of what? Tell me because of what? Did I, did I, wait, wait, wait. Let's let's let's, 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 let's be honest. Wait, wait, hold on, brother. Wait, 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 brother, brother. Let's let's wait, wait, brother, wait, break it down, brother. Let's be honest. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let's be honest, brother. Did I did I say you? What other fair? I didn't say you. Let him talk. Let him talk. It, brother. That is, I never said you. I said the so-called black Hispanics, the Native Americans, every so-called black Hispanic that's on this sun. The Lord said above. That's Hispanic. what I'm speaking about. How do I, I not know you a black Hispanic? I just that's said, what I'm saying. I don't know where you from, brother. I can't call that. 
All I'm saying is you out here and you preaching this. How do I know you ain't that, that, like, come on, man. Like, ain't nobody dumb. No problem, brother. Let me do what you just said. What, what's your ethnicity? Let's get to know you. What's your ethnicity? What's your ethnicity? Tell me what you see in front of you, brother, and I'm going to tell you my ethnicity. I see a brother. No, you don't. Tell me what you see in front of you. Brother. I just told you what I see. Tell I see me what you see in front of me. I can only tell you what I see. You see, I see a, a brother, brother, but where the fuck am I from? Do, do I got southern roots? Like, where's my roots? I'm from? only tell asking me where you. Can I, I ask you? Can you tell me? I'm asking you a question. I'm asking you where you from. Where are you from? What's your ethnicity? I'm black. You're African American? I'm from America. Okay, there's no problem with that, brother. I don't know why we're worrying. We're not worrying each other because that's we're not, what we're coming we're not, for. We're not. But the we're thing not. is, is that boom. What I said is that the so-called African Americans, the so-called Haitian, Jamaicans, brother, Hispanics, and Native design. Americans, Look, hold on. Let me finish, they, brother. They, come they, on, they, brother. They, come they, on, they, come they, on. They, we have to have some peace and order, man. Absolutely. That's what the Lord is about. It's about yeah, order. Absolutely. So Lord, I said Lord, these Lord, people Lord, on this. I said these people on these sign. Or the chosen people appointed of God. That means the so-called African American that's walk around here in America, they're the chosen people of God. And right. that's the reason why they went through slavery and went on slave ship and came here. And this is not where they're in America. This is the reason why we came out here to prepare the minds of our people that America's going to be destroyed and be paid back for the blood that they killed us with, man. That's, right. that's what we're talking about. That's what we're talking about. We're talking about vengeance upon those who killed us. That's what we're about, uh, talking about. We're not talking about equality, and we're not talking about no 40 acres and a donkey. That's not what we're talking about. Give me Galatians chapter 6 verse 7, brother. But I appreciate your patience. I appreciate that. Give me Galatians chapter 6 verse 7. You had a precept? Keep resorts? Yeah. Go ahead. The book of Amos chapter 3 and verse 1. Hear the word that the Most High saith unto you. So like it. Hear the word that the Lord hath spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family, which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, you only. What is that? You only. You only. You only. The book of Amos chapter 3 and verse 1. This is Amos chapter 3 verse 1. This is a lesser prophet. What did he say? Hear the word that I, the Most High has spoken against you, O children of Israel, uh -huh. against the whole family, which I brought up up from the land of Egypt saying Say you only one more time you only one more time you only you only come on have I known of all the families on the earth so he don't know anyone else on this all, earth all, he's all only dealing with the children of Israel all, brother we just talked about order wait wait hold on no problem no problem, no problem no problem no problem but you have all, to know brother brother all, hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on all, you said all, all you said all, all real all one time real one time you only we say you Say it again! 
Stay in order. Stay in order. Say it again. Hold on. Say it again. Read it again. What does it say? Read it again. What does it say? Galatians chapter 6 and verse 7. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. There you go. So whatever we sow, therefore we're going to receive and we're going to reap. So if we sow righteousness, if we sow righteousness, we're going to reap righteousness. But if we sow wickedness, we're going to receive wickedness. And that's what's going to happen. Now, according to the Bible, do you keep the commandments? Because I see you pointing fingers at each brother. So do you keep the commandments? No, I don't. Okay. No, I don't. 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 Nobody out here keep them fucking commandments. Bro, there's more than fucking ten commandments. There are precepts and there are fucking laws. Follow them shits. All of you. Fuck them. I don't give a fuck. There you go. Brother, why, why aren't you running away, man? Let's just deal with each other. Sound me here. Come on. You got to do a script, man. I, I know your man. brothers ain't running away. And y'all going to be out here every day. That's and right. I know that shit. Because I don't know how they do this. This is it. Y'all want that? You got to go over there. Y'all niggas better get something to come over here. Period. Period. Oh, talking to me, yeah. They say iron sharp and iron. Yo, y'all niggas really better come. be sharp. Don't come out here with that bravado because ain't nobody going for that shit out here. That's all I'm trying to tell you. Yo, I love you and I respect everybody that fucking love God. I don't give a fuck a denomination. All that denomination shit like Baptist, Protestant, Catholic, Muslim, Judaism, bullshit. like all that shit, all of that shit is fucking bullshit, bro. Y'all know it, and we all fucking know it. There is one fucking God. There is only one way to God. In Acts two twenty eight. If y'all don't get that shit right, ain't nobody going nowhere. And what can we do to save black people? Period. What can we do to save black people? It ain't about saving black people. Save your motherfucking self. Save yourself. Save your fucking self. Save yourself, so far, brother. Save yourself. I want to tell you about my people. That's what I care about. Let me tell you, when they can't rap, when they say, save yourself, no. Save yourself. Save your family. Fuck the black people. Save your, like, yo, your lineage. Like, my lineage ain't going nowhere. No man. We out here. I said, that's what we've been on. We've been on. That's why there's more than one person here. Read that. Zephaniah chapter 2, verse 1, man. Book of Zephaniah chapter 2 and verse 1. Gather yourselves together. What did I say? Gather yourselves together. What did I say? Gather yourselves together, man. That's the problem with this brother, because I know he was probably in this room. He probably lived right there in New York. And probably kept the commandments, but the problem is he got tired. He got tired, he got wasted, and he got weak, man. And then he fell back onto these streets, man. Give me that. Fall, go back to your vine. But you keep going. You got to get mic. I'll give him a mic when he gets that scripture. Read that. The book of Zephaniah, chapter 2 and verse 1. Uh -huh. Gather yourselves together. What did I say? Gather yourselves together. One more time. Gather yourselves together. I said gather yourselves together. This is a key component to save us so-called black and Spanish people, man. Because we've been destroyed and separated and divided by all those who hate us. So one of the simplistic ways for us to be built up back again as a nation is for us to gather together.